Hello and welcome to today's cryptocurrency technical analysis where we are going to be jumping into the Bitcoin chart today off of the very big move that we have recently seen to the upside on Bitcoin. I want to be covering that move, the harmonic target. Yes, our lovely harmonic target. Been trading this for over a few weeks now and it's finally come up to our major targets, obviously for those swing long trades. I'll be updating you on that, the take profits. Have I switched into a short? That's probably what you're wondering. Am I in a short trade right now? I'll let you know in this video. And um, basically, I would also like to end looking at the altcoins briefly, because for me, the altcoins right now are really, really, really fun to trade. I'm having a lot of fun on the alts, I'm not going to lie. And also, they're very volatile. So it's like a, a really good mix of Bitcoin heading upwards. We're seeing lovely volatility and opportunities on the alts are, are crazy big. So I'd like to end looking at the alts briefly as well. So yeah, we've actually got a lot to go through in today's video. And we'll start off, obviously, with, with the latest rise we've seen to the upside. This whole move, by the way, has just been really designated by these really strong higher highs and higher lows. You know, bullish market structure, zero signs of weakness, just just the, the, the signs really have been that Bitcoin was going to push higher. If you watched my Champions live stream last night, you know, those were my exact words. Making the live stream here, I was in no short positions, only longs. I was recognizing there was no weakness and the probabilities were we were going higher. And guess what happened? We went higher. Obviously, two wards are daily level of resistance, which I will cover during this video, of course. And I'll give you the local range that we're currently trading from. But it's the most important thing here is recognizing the market structure is obviously fairly simple. Let's be honest, it's fairly simple to recognize that. And then also recognizing where are the long opportunities. OK, so you have to make a decision. OK, before you enter a trade, you've got to plan that trade and make the plan, you know, <laughs> plan the trade, trade the plan. So you have to recognize, OK, where are your entries going to be? You cannot just enter at random areas of the charts. You have to look for these high probability trades, recognize the context of the market, where the strength is currently. OK, and, and whether you want to trade with that strength or try and fade it. But of course, fading is maybe not the best idea. <laughs> you know, it's up to you, though. Uh, so, you know, this is an example, obviously, from that last public video that I done a few days ago. We're obviously talking about this run of the local range lows. Again, this is just an emphasizing the, the need of having a plan. I knew what I wanted. Run of the range lows, back into the range, pump it. OK, plan the trade, trade the plan. Of course, it was being written. Squiggly lines don't often go wrong. But that was the idea that I had. OK, and we can see here how this progressed absolutely as predicted. Uh, we ran the range low. OK, you come back up with a swing flow pattern of the range. So that's giving you a long opportunity. And what, pro what what proceeds? Well, we obviously actually break above the daily. And as we all know now, we're back at, we're back above forty seven thousand dollars. So able to take those, you know, those more intraday trades. This is a lower term time frame, but you're able to get into those longs around forty three thousand five hundred forty three thousand, you know, eight hundred dollars. OK, and now you're back above forty seven thousand dollars. OK, and it's just that those ideas of you know, lower term time frame ideas per se. Okay, but it's the, the need of having that plan, then trading the plan when it comes to fruition as expected. And, you know, recognizing where the good long opportunities are. So it's not getting scared, not getting fearful, being patient. But guess what, that patience absolutely paid off there. Let's be honest, as we now sit back above $47,000. And of course, that was here, by the way, as you can see here, that was that run of the lows you know, break great market structure change. We come for the back test of around the CC. And then of course we made our way up. And actually yesterday, I'll show you this really nice bump Sunday coming into the CME open, come back here, consolidation during the whole day, touch the VWAP and bam, <laughs> straight up to your daily level. I mean, it was actually, it's actually really technical. Everything that's happening right now, I'm, I'm loving it. But of course, on the larger term timeframes, what are we coming up to? We, we obviously are actually at our harmonic, okay? Our harmonic target, which we have obviously been trading from here, 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 and then for the subsequent move to the upside. And for me, this is obviously a high term time frame level. Okay, this is a high term time frame idea. Okay, this, this is what we refer to as our swing trades. And for me, obviously, we originally came up here for the swing failure pattern. We came back down, but the harmonic was never invalidated. And for me, there was a simple case update, you know, around the 24th. Today, we're on the 28th, so about four days ago. You know, gave my perspective, as long as we're holding 42K support, I'm still looking for that harmonic target, as, as, as well, you may or may not know, depending on how you're following along with our videos. This harmonic target is way back from over a month ago now, over one month ago, recognizing what we wanted to see. OK, obviously come down in the end of the year, eight, six, and we're looking up for, you know, that around anywhere between 47, 48, 49 thousand dollars. So a massive move to the upside we were prepared and ready for. 
okay? Obviously saw this come down, but it was not invalidated. Wanted to see this happen really before the start of April. And now, thankfully, it has happened. Obviously, coming in, why did we want to see it really before, like, you know, 2nd of April? Because of the Fibonacci time. If we were going over the 2 to, you know, 2 to 1 Fibonacci time of A, B equaling C, D, over 2 to 2, I was going to, you know, kind of call off the harmonic. As mentioned in last night's Champions live stream, we wanted to see the pump sooner rather than later. And we obviously got it actually like one hour after the stream ended. So, uh, yeah, there you go. But <laughs> from that Champions live stream, we were ready, ready and, you know, expecting that move to the upside. But it all stemmed from that harmonic. OK, so this is like the higher term time frame idea. And I'll actually show you a few different insights here from that Champions live stream over a month ago, how we were recognizing the long opportunity. We actually had a, a, a confluence of the harmonic with our NPOCs. And not only that, we also had our Elliott waves. So we also had this wave one, two, three. We actually did get the wave four bounce, by the way, and down for the fifth. So you can see like how when I'm making these like swing trade plans and ideas, it's not just a simple case of, hey, here's the level that's long. No, I'm looking at all the Fibonacci levels. I'm looking at the volume levels. On the intraday, I'm then combining it with the order flow. I also had in there an Elliott wave count. So it's like all of that that came together to give this really let's be honest, a really epic long trade from all the way from $35,000, obviously, to where we are right now, still in that trade at $47,000. As that was a trade of the week that I gave on live stream to all of the champions, nailing the low of the move off of that harmonic, taking it all the way up to plus $47,000. What can I say? That was given to everybody in the Champions live stream. So if that's of interest, you know what to do. Um, but of course, that line brings us on the higher term time frames. Yeah, OK, we have breached then the last time. There was no swing failure pattern. I will show you this really nicely. We were, of course, ready and waiting for a potential swing failure pattern. And of this high and this high, let me show you what happened down here. Let's come down to like a five minute chart. What happened? Really simply, we went straight through the level back tested it and another move to the upside. So if you're ready and waiting for a swing forward pattern and you simply see this, move through the level, back test it as support, move up, guess what? There's no reason to panic. There's definitely no reason to short that because all you done was move through the level and back test it. No short opportunity at all. Maintaining the longs, wait to see if we got a sign of weakness. Okay, and really simply you went through that level you know, like, like really, really easily, actually. Okay. And that was good. You know, that, that's good. Why? Because we're sat in longs. Okay. And now you're obviously coming up to this more local mini range. Okay. So within this local mini range, you're sat really between around $46,600. Of course, the daily currently there at $47,724. So we really have this like mini range. Okay. Obviously, if you're moving up to the top of the range, you could look for these kind of like, um, again, like a swing forward pattern type move at the top of the range or the same of the low of the range. Of course, if you start to close above that range or close below the range, you know, you're looking down towards your next level if you're closing below it or looking you know, towards your next level to the upside, which of course is our monthly uh, NPOC. Um, to the upside, that would be my next level personally. Okay, and until we get a break of that range, we really simply have a defined range currently. Okay, this is not really a defined range at the moment. It's more one that we can pre-anticipate to form um, because we do have well-defined levels there, especially the, the upper side. Um, you know, so then it's just a case of, you know, remaining patient, remaining calm and collected. And so that, that that's really my game plan. And while I'm remaining calm and collected, focused, ready on Bitcoin, of course, I'm taking great advantage of the altcoins, which I do want to talk you through a few of these altcoins. Uh, after, after just two really quick, um, you know, bringing your attention to things, I suppose. The first is this what this post from Crypto Hank, which I loved, obviously a champion within the group. It's Friday night. He's tired. He doesn't really want to do this, but these are the moments that define you. How bad do you want it? Got to keep grinding. I like that post. And I just wanted to read it out in the live stream because it really just emphasizes how you know, how much do you really want to be a trader? How much do you really, really want this? How, you know, if you want it a lot, you are going to make sacrifices. You are going to, you know, commit yourself to this fully because trading is not a game of, you know, doing it for a little bit, kind of wanting it, kind of not wanting it. Yeah, I'll do it when I got time. Yeah. You know, if you want to be a good trader, you really have to dedicate yourself to this. Yeah. And, you know, I, I just like this post because I like these type of people that are really dedicated, really actually want to learn, really want to actually make something of themselves. So I just felt like giving a little bit of a shout out to Hank there because I loved it. There he is on, 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 his, on his bike while watching the contenders live streams. 
shout out to you mate respect and of course the second announcement i want to do here really quickly is just reminding you once again currently i mean even right now george this morning has done another live stream every single day you're getting a live stream it's like this but like much more in depth because obviously this is for, for the members inside of the group this is for the champions Okay, George today done over an hour long live stream. So we should see how actually long this live stream was. This was a live stream of one hour, 37 minutes. There you go. One hour, 37 minute long live stream where he'll answer all of your questions and your answers. You know, people absolutely love this. And guess what? You also have a five minute version of this. Okay, where he will do a five minute version for those that are low on time. If you've got a lot of time, one hour, <laughs> 37 minute live stream for you today. That is, of course, going to be uploaded to the website shortly. And again, if you missed my Champions live stream last night, you can watch that on the website. I personally think it was a brilliant one <laughs> because it went pretty well, let's be honest. Um, OK, so that, those are the quick few announcements I wanted to do. Of course, reminding you about all of the team chart champions is not just me, but we have built this into a whole massive team dedicated to assisting you. Um, and then, of course, reminding you, um, you know, You've got, you've got to have some effort put into it on your behalf. We can obviously provide you with some of the best trading ideas, coaches in the world, but it does require on your behalf the effort, you know, because we cannot put your effort in. We can give you our effort, but you need to obviously do your own effort as well. So that's a nice little reminder. And moving on to the altcoins then. So as, as I said, the altcoins have been really, really, really volatile right now, especially if you're good at picking some altcoins. I just want to show you this one because this is just kind of like a hey, 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 hey. But this was uh, before, this was before the massive pump. I'm sure some of you saw may have seen the big pumps on VeChain and also on Zakia. And I actually called Zakia in my group uh, before the massive pump. Yeah, this one has moved now like over 100%. And this was on the 26th before the pump. Obviously, it pumped on the towards the evening of the 26th very hard. I actually called all about Zakia as trying to get into those positions. And my order quality on the corner to D was too big to even get filled at the time, which just actually kind of made me laugh. But um, yeah, it was all about Zakia. And guess what happened? A few hours later, Zakia pumps like 100% to the upside. Hey, 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 gotta love the altcoins. Uh, obviously doing extensive research on those. Um, <laughs> but of course, we refer, uh, is this an alt season? Hey, who, who who cares if it's an alt season or not right now? All I know is there's volatility on the alts. There is opportunity on the alts. And, um, you know, you got to provide the volume for these altcoins. <laughs> but overall, like I'm still remaining with the same viewpoint. Okay, Bitcoin is... Heading upwards, yeah? Bitcoin is heading upwards. We're seeing remaining strength in Ethereum. Of course, Ethereum is very important for the whole altcoin economy, so to speak. So Ethereum BTC has seen strength. We're obviously seeing this locally range on Bitcoin. And this is still like a good green flag for the alts. So if you are interested in alts, yeah? This is this equals a good opportunity. OK, so all you want to write down is, is there strength in ETH BTC? OK, what is the context right now on Bitcoin? And, you know, what alts have the best setups? Again, you can trade all of these alts individually for themselves. But of course, you're seeing, you know, really big moves on Zill, Takia. Um, oh, yeah. EOS actually started to pump. ICP. Hmm, I'll just say that. I'm just going to say ICP, nothing else. Um, GRT would obviously a nice move to the upside. And so if you're able to understand a theory, you're able to come into any of these altcoins really and just start trading, like taking advantage of the volatility. Again, disclaimer, this requires a high level of skill, of course. But if you do have that skill level, you know, you can come in and take advantage of so many different alts right now. And it is kind of like, is this alt, soin, alt season? It's kind of like it doesn't really matter what we refer to it as. What we refer to it as is opportunities. There's opportunities, but there's always, you know, there's there's a lot of opportunities right now because there's a lot of volatility combined with the fact that you're seeing ETH BTC strength combined with the fact like Bitcoin is, is um, you know, it's really strong as well, let's be honest. You know, it's all leading into this scenario of the altcoins are having a lot of fun right now. Things that I would, you know, tips that I can give you for myself, I'm more of a day trader when it comes to these altcoins. So I'm looking for these quick moves to the upside. Uh, or, you know, I can also sculpt them to the downside as well. But main, mainly I'm looking to just long them. Why? Because, you know, the strength at the moment is to the upside. Uh, so, you know, I'm coming in here on a day trader's perspective, looking to get in on retracements. You know, if I can take them 5%, 10%, you know, that's a crazy amount of gain. Um, and, you know, it's not relatively difficult on the on the alts that I'm trading at the moment. Um, but, you know, the tip that I would give you is you've got to trade the alts that are at your level of... Um, um, you know, your level of skill. If you're if you're not a skilled trader, you might want to remain on, on trading some of these slower altcoins where if you have the skills, you're able to take advantage of the volatility one, hey, it's it's a bit of a bit of a lovely playground to be in at the moment. But you know, take caution, take care. Don't just get FOMO into these things, you know, 
you, you know, FOMO is uh, not good. So just take your time, take, you know, yeah, take your time, plan out the trades, trade the plan, plan the trades. Yeah, it's the same as if we we're trading Bitcoin, but it's obviously on Notcoin with, with more volatility. But don't don't lose your heads, keep calm and collected. And, you know, the charts will guide you. The charts will guide you. And so will I, if you want my <laughs> if you want my guidance. Um, so, yeah, that was today's relatively oh, 15 minutes. Wow, I thought it was a quick video. Well, it actually wasn't. But I really wanted to emphasize to you a few different things. So I'll end with a summary. Summary point number one, you have to have those plans. You have to remain calm. You have to remain collected. There are opportunities. Yeah, there are opportunities, but it all comes down to, you know, being patient at the end of the day. You cannot just long into resistances. Okay? You've got to wait for those retracements. And even in a massive uptrend like we're in right now, guess what? Those retracements still come and you're given the opportunities. Uh, point number two is obviously the local range that we had here on Bitcoin between the uh, daily resistance here. Of course, if we break this, we know our next level to the upside, the monthly MPOC, and obviously our range low, which is coming in around 46,600. Again, if we reduce the range low, we simply look down towards our next level of support. But currently we have that potential range. This is what I'm calling my potential range at the moment. I know how to trade this out of, outside of this range and how the larger term time frame context all come together absolutely as predicted off of that harmonic and yes we broke through the high of the um of our last major high there which is obviously on our harmonic with no swing failure pattern and for that reason i remain in that long uh until i see that sign of weakness eg i'm trailing the stop loss i've trailed i've already done this i've trailed my stop loss because obviously this has a bit of a larger target zone so i don't yeah, basically because there was no swing fair pattern, I just trailed it, okay? There was no reason for me to close that. And again, if you want those sort of heads up, you know, I've done that on a Champions live stream. Again, we're not a signals group, but I gave a signal on this one <laughs> and it obviously played out <laughs> very well indeed, longing pretty much the love of the move. Um, but again, we are an educational group. We're focused on the education. We're here to teach you how to do these type of things, not really for me to feed you on a plate. I'm here to, you know, teach you how to fish. So you can come in here every day on the market, load up the charts, take some trades and make some money. That's what we're here for. So you can do that in a self-sufficient manner. OK, and of course, with the help of myself and all of the other coaches, Victor, Mike, George, Igor, you know, we're here with Trading Assistant as well. Every single day you come over to Trading Assistant right now and guess what? He's going to be in here answering your questions. So, like, you got to just come in here, take advantage of the information because, you know, we, we, we are here to assist you. So I really hope that we are making a difference in your lives. We are helping you. And that's all I'm going to say. Uh, I hope that you've enjoyed me talking you through the price action here, getting you hyped and getting you ready for what's to come because this is a brilliant trading environment. So take advantage of it, I suppose. Thank you ever so much, everybody. And um, all I say is hope you have a good day. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And I'll see you over inside the group if you want to see more. So cheers, everybody. Thank you. And goodbye. Cheers.